There were no signs. It came without warning. to us all. The desperate few struggled to survive. Perhaps we had a chance for peace. But desperation and trust are seldom allies. <laughs> So began a millennium of conflict. warriors the world has ever known. The reason they fight, lost to the ages. And yet, here they still stand, searching for a sign. I will show them. Dan here and welcome to a For Honor beta. So I have no idea what the fuck this game is about. All I know is that samurais, vikings, and knights are gonna beat the living shit out of each other. That's gonna be fun. So just from that little like intro, I guess the fact that the world is like under ruin. Like the world's under ruin and the vikings, the knights, and the samurais are kind of fighting for survival. And there was like a moment of peace and to the one asshole was like, nah, nah, they ain't gonna be no peace. Y'all gonna fight to the death. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's do this, guys. So basically, like I played a little bit of this game. I haven't really explored all the classes. I've been mainly focusing on the knight class. I'm part of the knight faction. But leave in the comment section, like, what faction are you like? Are you gonna join? There I jo I personally joined the knight faction because. Theoretically, in history, the knights would... What the fuck? <laughs> Theoretically, the knights would um, definitely win, especially against the Vikings, because if you look at it from a historical standpoint, the Vikings, yeah, they're like, you know, they're tough, they're brutal, and, you know, they're like powerful and shit, but like, 
what comes to, like an armor standpoint they vikings basically like had almost no kind of like armor like their armor they basically was like like the knights and the samurai armor where their armor was designed to protect a lot of like shit <laughs> so yeah this game um, this game's like a lot buggy and glitchy i get like you know it's, it's the beta and all that but like I, i've seen like a lot of bugs and a lot of glitches like yeah so here we are we are, there are there are three different um hero, hero uh, three different classes they're the knights vikings the samurais and each of these has like you know a different kind of well not really like a different but like they each have like their own class specialists like the vanguard is like for the knights the warden for the vikings the raider for the samurai it's the kenshi and then for the heavy we have the conqueror and then the warlords and then yeah i see a lot of people play as the warlord a lot and then the, like, nabashi the bashi yeah the bashi yeah but i see a lot of people play as the nabashi and the warlord a lot but i personally like to play as the peacekeeper because look her she looks she looks so fucking cool look at that she looks like a fucking assassin's creed character she's like the next assassin's creed Holy shit. And since this game is made by Ubisoft, I will not be surprised if that there was like a DLC to make the Peacekeeper look like an assassin. Because make it look like um, Edward Kenway, because the Peacekeeper has two weapons, a dagger and the sword, which Kenway sort of has. Kenway has two weapons, it's Assassin's Creed um, Black Flag, so I won't be surprised if there's a DLC to have the Peacekeeper look like, you know, an assassin. Then we have the Berserker, who... Yeah, also has two weapons. So I guess, like, all the... You know, wait, wait, no, because no, the or Orochi doesn't have two weapons, right? Yeah, the Orochi doesn't have two weapons. It just has, like, one long weapon. It was also the assassin for the samurai class. But for me, the Peacekeeper is, like, really helpful because of her abilities. Like, wait a minute, yeah, her abilities. The stealth, which hides yourself from the HUD, radar, and aim assist, which means that, you know, the enemies can't see you coming. I think it's harder for the enemies to lock onto you and, like, uh, like lock onto you and, like, get to you. I have thick skin, which basically, you know, I gain, um, damage reduction. The crossbow, which is super helpful, like, you have no idea how helpful the hot crossbow is. Because the Peacekeeper, she isn't the kind of character that goes in head first. She isn't the character that goes in, no, deals the heavy damage. No, she's the character that deal goes in, deals damage, and gets out. She's not the character that you want to stay in and, like, fight. Like, she goes in, she gets hit, and she gets out before you even know she's there. And the crossbow is really helpful because, like, especially when you have those heavy characters who are coming for you, and, like, you know, you have to back up, you take the crossbow, you hit them with that, and that's a great, like, distraction for you to run and, like, you know, gain distance. Or, like, you know, if you're if you're chasing down somebody, and you have, like, low health, and you're chasing down somebody, and instead of chasing after them, potentially putting yourself more at risk, because they could be potentially leading you into an ambush. They could be leading you to their teammates to not go on. Since the Peacekeeper isn't, like, that kind of person that, like, you know, can take a lot of damage, you'll be done, like, like, like that. I mean, real quick. So, if they're running, instead of chasing after them, use a crossbow to hit them, boom, kills them. And fear itself is the enemies around you have lower stamina and regeneration, lower stamina and regeneration and defenses, which is really good, especially when, like, a bunch of enemies are trying to gang up on you. Use fear itself and lower the stamina, lowers the defense, so they tire out easily, they, you know, you can hit them more, and each, um, each of these classes have, like, three abilities. I only unlocked all three of them for the first two, like, I haven't locked... Wait, yeah, I unlock Conqueror, which is capture control um, points faster, which I honestly don't think is really that helpful. Uh, health gain stamina when you kill another hero, which is also like a little bit unhelpful. Especially like if you if people on your teammates are like the heavy hitters, they're the ones that can be doing the most killing to the enemy heroes. So this is basically useless unless like you can act unless you're actually really really good with peacekeeper. They can actually take out like heavy like like heavy artillery and shit. Flashbang, which is, I also find this very hard, only for the beta, because I found that they still worked out, like, how to throw shit in mid-combat. Because I've, like, been in, like, the, in the midst of combat, and, and, like, I want to throw a flash grenade, like, in the middle of combat, so it can help me, like, escape, but it just wouldn't work, which is, like, really difficult they need to fix in the beta. I mean, they fix in the main game, and attack for your revenge meter, which is, like, uh, sort of useful, but this one's more useful, because you gain... You know, you basically can take more hits, and that helps you out a lot. And for, like, the... For... Yeah, um, you can customize each hero. So, like, I have the helm, the armor, the... But, yeah, the, basically, the armor, the arm pieces, the sword handle. But yeah, the, the sword... The sword hilt... That's what, um, the sword itself, the sword handle, and the dagger, which all, like... 
coins, so they all, like, you know, play a part in your stats. And then there is the, you know, you can customize your looks, you know, standard, blah, 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 outfits. Yeah, which is, like, I guarantee you it's gonna be, like, you know, the Elite, then there's Mystic, and then Reputation, you see? Which is really, like, super, like, cool. <laughs> I really want this one. This one, these two look really hella cool. I haven't unlocked them yet, but fuck. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys an, a full match of Domination. Which, if I can get to it, it's, it's really... <sighs> yeah, see, this is the part of the band which I do not like. It's super difficult. It's super, like... It's, yes, it's very difficult to actually get into a match. This is why I don't like about the beta that I need to fix in the game. Because right now, there should be matches. Feels like cooking some matchmaking. What? This is another thing in the beta that this happens a lot, too, where, like, it just... It just freezes. It doesn't want, like... doesn't want to do, like, shit. Which is, like... All right, let me restart this. Okay, here we go, guys. Yeah, it's, like, one of the, wor the things I hate in the beta... That, like, it's very, very glitchy when it comes to matchmaking. Which, I know, I get it, it's the beta, but still, like, come on. Like, like come on. What, what the hell, guys? So, I'm gonna show you guys a full-on 4-on-4 four -four domination match. This is, like, <laughs> this is gonna be really fun, because I, I love playing domination. The other two modes, 1v1 and 2v2, I'd say they're not really as fun to play as domination. Because domination is 4v4. And it gives you like a lot more. It gives it gives you a lot a bit uh, a better chance to look at all the heroes, to look at how they play and all that. Unlike one v one, two v two, where it's just it's basically like a one v one fight. Two v two, basically the same thing as one v one, except your partner is like all the way to the other side, which is like super useless. So, yeah, look at look at do 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 do. Look, look at all, look at him, oh, I have, look, we got two Vikings, we got a Samurai and a Knight class. And we have Knight, Samurai, two, two Samurais, and two Knights, okay, got Dude, 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 this is why part of, when we start the fight, I love how they all, like, like come at each other, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. It really brings up the authenticity of, like, the middle, the, um, of, like, the middle ages. So, basically, um... What I really hope for this game is that if one it fixes like a lot of the bugs I found. I found like a lot of matchmaking bugs. I found that the enemy bots are really difficult to actually kill. Like, holy shit, like here we go. Oh wait, they'll show it? Oh fuck. They sh oh they usually be the um charge it. Okay. Here we go guys. So but yeah, see this is another one see that's another one of the glitches where the matchmaking is very hard to, to get to. And when you do now, come on, team! Ah, Middle Ages! And when, like, you actually get into a match, you'd be lucky for the glitch out. It'd be lucky. Alright, so, basically, we have three points. We have point A, point B. Uh, we just lost point B, but point C. So, basically, in order to capture point B, you have to... Oh, here's the heat. Here you go. Ah, 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 ah. Parry! Execution! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, alright. Kill something. Great. So, basically, in order to... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'm, I'm killing like, all of them. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see how he's running away. See how he's running away. See, I can either chase after him. Let's see. He looks away. So he's gonna run to his base. See, I'm gonna chase. See, if I chase after him, ugh, I can either end good like that, or I can end badly. He can either run here. And if he gets to his own point, he heals up. So which is really bad. And mostly, when you're at your low health, you you're coming at you, you run to your own base. So in every map, is like like um. Oh, the uh, environmental shit. Like, here. See this? Press O. Boom. That could have that killed somebody or could have blocked off the path. Oh, shit! Okay. Now, in order to defend, you see, yeah, you see how, like, that red arrow is not shit? Ah, fuck! Ah! Guys! Ah, shit! Ah! Yes, my head. I am real case. Okay, so see, that's why you never go head to head with, like, a strong character with the peacemaker. You want, cause I'm, I don't know if I'm just bad at this game, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just bad at this game, but like, the defending in this is kind of difficult. What you have to do, is like, remember how you see how the like, red, red arrows are like, like there's a like, red arrow like pointing up, that's where he's attacking. Now when you're in this stance, you have to use the R to coincide with that direction. Sort of like Infinity Blade, but if you attack from up, you attack up, you, like you block up. Attack from, the, attack from the left, you block left. Block, attack from the right, you block right. And that's like, you know, that makes you block, and you can parry, you can, like, you know, you can gain your defense, and you can basically, you know, do a lot of things with defending. But, 
the difficult thing I found about that is that it's sort of hard. Like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get somebody to have one more thing. Ah, shit! Oh, come on. Yeah. That's so difficult, especially with the soldier. Like the soldier is you can't lock onto. Well, you can, like, you know, kill. Okay, you see how, like, that, that's all gray now? Now I'm, like, out of, like, stamina. I'm, like, <sighs> I'm, like, no, oh, pressure. What, what? Motherfucker, did you just? Motherfucker! This motherfucker's trying to kill me? The fuck? Fuck you, too! We're on the same team, asshole! We're on the same team! Fucking bitch. Try to kill me. I hate that! He just tried to kill me! A fucking bitch! Alright, so basically, I, I'm already like at tier 2, which means that my health, my, um, I have like a high defense. What the fuck do you think you're going, bitch? What the fuck are you think you're going? So in order to capture me, you have to take out the enemy soldiers and have your own soldiers progress. Ah, fuck! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah! Ow! That's one thing I hear. I don't know if you lose health. When you're, cause like your teammates can hit you. I don't know if you. Oh, yeah, yeah, sun death. You see how, like, at the side of it, how like that the four players. Sun death is that if your points go over a thousand, what you do is now you take out your you take out the enemy team, and they can't revive. And all way for the enemy team to revive or come back is to have them to have their old teammates revive them. They can't like respawn naturally. No, they have to like. Yeah, wait for your gun, bitch. Just. You see? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're done for. Yeah, you're, you're done for. <laughs> Three against one, you're done for. We got two more to go. Now, what? See, now I have the crossbow. Watch them try to run now. Watch them try to run. So basically, what we gotta do is we gotta find and we gotta chase them down. We gotta chase them down. We gotta kill them before like their points go higher than. And I'm the fuck out of the way, soldiers. Before the before our points get more than a thousand, or before. What? What do you think you're running to? Oh, fuck. Ow! Just... Ugh. Yeah, you blocked me? Come on. Come on. Shit, he's not in revenge mode. But revenge mode is like berserk mode. Fuck. He's running. He's running. I'm back here, bitch. He's... Fuck up. Get back here. I found the crossbow. Move! Move out my way! I have the crossbow. I got this. Got the crossbow, I got this! Move! Oh yeah, yo, you got for Fuck yes! Yeah, that was a bad example of a bad example, but <laughs> that was a bad example of a domination match. But when we come back, I'll show you guys a proper, like, full domination match. I'll show you guys the proper one. That was I I I, I was disappointed. I, I apologize. That was like I apologize. <laughs> that was like a very like good example of a domination match. When we come back, I'll show you guys a proper domination match. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ooh, level up. And I'll be seeing you all in the next this For Honor. Oh, it's a Dishonored. But next For Honor part. Peace out, everyone. It'll be a marvelous, spectacular For Honor day.